The police put their lives on the line every day to protect us. Sometimes they face down their worst fears and come eye to eye with a lethal weapon. Uh, 1080, 1080, 1080. Not real. No. It's not real. It's not real. Once he's able to secure that firearm, we'll put you in the car. Leave me alone. You need to get off of me. But that doesn't always work out well for the suspect. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Your hands behind your I can't Breathe. Here are five times when dumb criminals try to pull guns on cops. Ariel. Our first case begins on the 7th of February, 2023. Police were called to investigate a house fire which was reported by workers on a building site nearby. They gave a vivid description of the suspect who left the house after it was set ablaze. A woman later identified as Ariel. Police rushed to the scene and found the culprit who was facing some serious allegations. Unfortunately, she made it an incredibly stupid decision and pulled a firearm on the officers. Here's how it played out. Huh? For what? Because you're coming from that place where it's no, on fire. I'm not. Okay, we have witnesses saying you are. What's no, your name? My name's Ariel. Do you have an ID on you? Yeah, I do. Let me see it. Ten eighty, ten eighty, ten eighty. It's not real. No. It's not real. It's not real. I got it right there. I got it right there. Oh, you start reaching. I swear to God. It's not real. Look at the numbers. Watch your, watch your, watch your, watch your arm. Can you look at the numbers? Back. Look at the numbers. Yeah, look at the, the concealing identity. Look at the numbers! 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 Ariel is continuously kept under the watchful eye of officers and is safely secured on the ground. But her entitled behavior, strange mood swings, and absurd claims about her understanding of the law highlight her terrible attitude. With Ariel having already resisted her arrest, the next stage to move her to the cop car proves to be just as challenging. Off of me! Get off! That's enough. Stop! A boss! Smiley! You need to let me go! Let me don't, go! Don't. Let me! I can walk! I can okay, walk. walk! Well, let me go! 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 Oh, she still got her back. Give me my... No! No! Stop! Let go of my bag! Yeah, let right go there. of my bag! Stop moving! Let go of my... Hey! You guys are gonna pay for that! Let go of the bag! You guys need to take my name. You guys need to get my name. Stand up. We'll get your name right the now. red. The red. Get on. Get in. The red. Get in the car. Okay. I can't go home. I live right there. Put your foot in. I'm not gay. Move your feet. Put your foot in. I'm not gay. I didn't ask you if you're gay. I'm not gay. Yeah. Rape. Turn around. No. Stop. No. Wait. You need to get no. your hands off of me. No. I know the law. Okay. Give me your other hand. Get off. Get off. Give me get your off. arm. Get off. Get off. Pull it out. Pull it out. Get off. Get off. This is pull it out. Pull it out. Put it on her face. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs>
This is a tough situation and Ariel was too emotionally distressed to be moved normally. Luckily, the cops have equipment and reinforcements on their side. The team mobilizes efficiently to strap Ariel up and transport her. You won't be surprised to learn that the suspect isn't pleased about this new strategy and finds other ways to resist. Ooh, I'm not a dog. Get Get it off! Please, please. Let's see, stop. Is that what happened with Alan? Is your dad at home now? Yes, he is. He's home right now? Yes. All right. Sit up. What did you do? It's for your own safety. I didn't, you said huh? oh, I didn't. Hold on. I I get him. I'm prescribed. I'm just, no, I'm prescribed for the dermacy of that. Shut her back in the it's the, the behavioral health center. Well, listen, I just want to make sure that your health is okay, all right? Normal people get in a little tussle like this. Yes. For Ariel's safety, the cops bring her to a medical facility to get checked out, before of course she's deemed healthy enough to be taken to jail. Her following behavior is a strong sign that all is not well, but the police persevere with their procedures. It was my concealing identity. I was going. I created a disarmer. I was just taking her to the ground. She has a scrape on her hand. That's it. Her policy and use of force that's being medically cleared. Oh, she was gonna do it. She fell on her side. Just her. Just set her up against her. We'll set her on the floor. On the floor? Yeah. Oh. I'll just leave her against her. So she wants to lay on the floor. She can. We told you. She knows she did it on purpose. Don't bite it. Hey. Hey, I don't want to. It was a guy. Stop. Stop trying to bite the chair. Huh? Ariel. Stop rolling around, Ariel. You gotta stay in the room. She was charged with aggravated assault on an officer, resisting arrest, contempt of court, and negligent arson. Ariel may have only threatened officers with a fake firearm, but the suspect in our next case tried to use the officer's own weapon against them. Brandon Keith Thompson. Our next case begins on the 8th of July, 2022 in Sandy. Police officers were initially notified that a shoplifting was in progress at an AT&T store. The cops responded to the incident efficiently enough to arrive at the scene while the culprit was still present. Upon arrest, suspect Brandon Keith Thompson resisted, grabbed a firearm from an officer's belt and attempted to shoot. The bullet hit the ground and no one was hurt, but the officers came down on Brandon hard. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Get on the ground. Get off, Get off me. What the f***? Dude. Listen, dude. Dude. Oh, my God. 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 Doing? This what happened? I got the gun. Let Let go! 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 Let
Okay. I got your gun, man. What is going on? Get on the ground! Help! Help! I will tease you again! Help! Get on the ground! Probes are not in. Under the threat of both a firearm and a taser, the suspect attempts to play victim and claims they can't breathe while expressing their state of confusion. But the police hold firm. There's no telling how dangerous this situation could become without the cops maintaining complete control. I can't breathe. Okay. I will okay. tase you. Okay. Okay. I can't breathe. Okay, I got his arms. I can't breathe. I can't I can't breathe. I can't okay, breathe. Well then stop. Okay. Stop. Okay, I can't, can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Okay, you'll breathe. breathe in a second then. I can't breathe. What the f is going on? What is going on? What's going on? Jam? Hey. What happened? Him first. What the f happened? You shot at me. No, you f shot you my shot. No, you shot at me. You grabbed the Gun. No, I didn't. I'm a witness. He shot at me. I'm a witness. Because he shot at me. And you, and you shot around. No, I didn't. Yes, yes you did. did. He shot at me. You shot at me. He shot at me. He shot at me. He shot at me. He scared the shit out of me. Then don't grab his fucking gun. I did it. He tried to shoot me. He tried to shoot me. Hey. He tried to shoot me. The police must continue to wait until the arrival of backup. All the meanwhile, they were constantly berated about their perceived lack of care for this suspect. He's in no position to make demands, but you'll be shocked to hear how forceful he becomes with the officers as he gets more desperate. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Your hands I can't fucking breathe. Then stop moving. Please let me on my stomach, please. Please let me on my stomach. Please lay me on my stomach. Please! Get my chest! Okay. My chest! Do I can't! Do you want to take this, Daphne? Yeah. This is his gun. Please! This is the officer's Please! Ryan's I can't gun. breathe. Yeah. Can I lay in my st Can I lay in my back? Can I lay in my back? I can't breathe. Do not move! No. Not Please! Right. I'm begging you. After struggling like that, no. Please! Please! Nobody's on you right now. Hey, he's pushing me on my back. He's holding my chest. Look, I swear to God, I won't do nothing. Just let me lay my side. Just let me lay my side. Just on my side, please. Please! I can't breathe. Please, I'm begging you. I can't breathe. Can we get him off his belly? Please. 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 Brandon was later charged and convicted with these crimes including shoplifting and resisting arrest and was sentenced to nine years in prison. While the cops were able to control this situation, in our next case, they were forced to make a quick decision. Zef Rocco. Our next incident takes place on the 21st of March, 2024. LAPD officers were sent to an apartment building with an arrest warrant for Zef Rocco, who was a suspect involved in multiple robberies. When the SWAT team arrives, they surround the area, fully sweeping the apartment block and securing the building before they proceed. While the officers required to make initial contact, they utilize the bullhorn to warn Zeph of their arrival. In an ideal world, Zeph would leave the apartment and comply, but getting Zeph to respond is particularly challenging. All right, occupants of 17 Reseda, occupants of 17 Reseda, apartment three, Zeph Rocco, this is the Los Angeles Police Department. We have a search warrant for your location. Once again, apartment three. Zeph Rocco, this is the LAPD. We have a search warrant for your location. I need you to come out and follow the directions of the officers outside. Do so now. Once again, apartment three. Zeph Rocco. This is the LAPD. Come out with your hands up and surrender immediately. Do so now. Zeph finally makes contact with the LAPD SWAT team. The next step would be for the suspect to exit their room with their hands up to be placed in custody. But instead, you'll witness a shocking series of events where Zeph attempts to make a daring escape with a shotgun as his backup. Hey, this is Sergeant Hong with the LAPD SWAT team. I need you to come out with your hands up and do so now. We have a search warrant for your location. We've been waiting 
and our patience is growing thin, so I need you to come out right now and surrender immediately. Is that a message or is he there? He's right here. Hey, 70, I got him on the line. He just went out. Oh, probably must have been on the other side. Hey, he's, cl he's climbing down. He's climbing down. Hey! Hey! Get back inside! Get back inside! He's got a gun. Don't reach for it! Don't reach for it! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! Stop reaching! Stop reaching for it! Don't move! Here, you'll see an alternate angle of the situation. You'll see just how dangerous Zeph's actions were as he jumped from the apartment and fired upon the officers. Officers had no choice but to use extreme force to protect public safety. Hey, get back inside. Get back inside. He's on the balcony. He's on the balcony. He's, 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 he's got a gun. He's in dog park. He's got a gun. Get back inside. Don't reach for it. Don't sorry, reach sorry, for sorry, it. Let it go. He's got a gun in his hand. Let it go! Stop reaching for it! Don't move! Alright, All right. he's down in the dog park. Um, he's not moving, he still has the gun in his hand up here. Uh, up here. Right, time to go. See his arms behind his back. You want him on his side, Ed? Uh, yeah, let's roll him on his side. Let's just cuff him in the front. Okay. While the SWAT team looked to help Zeph after his initial injuries, the suspect was later pronounced deceased at a local hospital. Zeph's crimes were numerous, but our next case shows the escalation of a very simple incident. Kevin. Our next case begins on the 4th of March, 2022. Officers on patrol took notice of a vehicle driving erratically in an oncoming lane. The police attempted to make a standard stop, but were surprised to see the vehicle continue onwards, albeit at a slowed pace. After failing to stop at traffic lights, the police finally get the car to pull over and interview the driver, later identified as Kevin. Here's how it went down. Up, I stand in the car. He just takes off. His foot's on the brake. Can you roll the window down, man? That for that side? Oh, sorry. Why didn't you? Or you want to hop out, man? Why didn't you stop right away? Because you didn't stop right away. Mm -hmm. I did. I turned the corner and then stopped. All right, step out of the car. No. Okay, if you don't step out of the car, you place placed under arrest for obstructing. You understand that? For obstructing? For what? Yes. So step How out of the am car. I under arrest? I'm going to place you under arrest for obstructing. Pennsylvania versus Mims. Arrest? The United States Supreme Court, I have the right to get you out of car traffic stop. You, you didn't stop order. right away. You're getting a lawful order. If you don't, if you do not get out of the car no, right no, now, no, you're no, placed no, under arrest for obstructing. Look, my hands are right here. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand how will I be under arrest for obstructing. If you don't get out of the car. Why? Right. So, you need to get out. I'm giving you off order. Kevin is obviously intoxicated and refusing to comply with officers. What could have been a simple process gets complicated, and officers have no choice but to remove Kevin from the vehicle forcibly. Unfortunately, in the suspect's drunk state, they reach for a firearm. I have not done nothing. I have to eat my Slim Jim. Step what out of the, the car or you're under arrest. I'll give you one last chance. Step out of the car or you're under arrest. What the f is You're under arrest for obstructing. Get out what, the car. what the f Get out of the car. You're under arrest. For real. For real. Get out of the car. You're under arrest. What are, you reaching, what are you reaching for? I am reaching for nothing, officer. Damn. What the? Get out of the car right now. No, I am car. not instructing. Get out of the car right now or you can take it. Well, well, for real, for real, for real. Hop out of the car right now. Get out of the car now. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Get out of the car. Damn, can I come? Get out of the car. I'm coming. Get out. 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 Damn, what the f Don't let this hand go because the preacher's on the right hand side. No, I'm not. I'm eating my f***ing damn Get out of the car right now. 
You know what? Grab, do for real, no, for real, for real, for real. I'm just coming here. For real. Yeah. yeah, you can reach all you want. It's nothing. Oh! What the f? Oh! I'm gonna scram. What? No, I get promise you, I'm not doing nothing. Get out of the get car. Out of the car. I promise you, I'm not doing s. What the f? Get the No, I promise you, I'm not doing s. Officer. Get out of the car. Officer, I promise you, I'm not doing s. Get out of the car, too. Look. I did not tell you, first of all, I got lots of insurance. I did not tell you to come in my car. Officer. Make any phone calls and, uh, also, I'm not doing nothing. I am um, real uncle. You know what, wait, because home, I got it's license and I got insurance. Because he's reaching for something on the right side. No, I'm not. I ain't reaching for oh. shit, nigga. I reach for my registration and my what's called it? And my license. Oh. Officers, I reach for my registration and my license. I am not reaching for shit. Get out of the You're car. Under right? I am a Stop black man. Hold Get out up. of the car. I ain't reaching for my wallet. I promise you, I'm forgetting my wallet. Look, I'm no, forgetting my wallet, dude. Go on the passenger side. Here. The police successfully removed Kevin from the car without a weapon being engaged, but they now have the tough job of getting cuffs around his wrists and transporting him to the cop car. Resisting throughout, the biggest fear for officers is that Kevin could be carrying further firearms. Stop resisting. I got the cuffs right here, so here. He's no, he's not cuffed. Not cuffed, Jeff. Step on one and cut say two for two. Stop. I got one hand in. That's my foot. It's your foot. Hey, there's a the magazine. There's a magazine right there, dude. I got his other hand. He's good. He's reaching for a gun. All right. Pretty sure. There's a the magazine right by your leg, so. I can't get his hand in there. There. You got a gun on you, man? Roll over. Hang on, everybody. 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 And up straight. Oh, look, I'm standing on straight, dude. God damn. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm good. Shut up. I'm in sandals, dude. What the fuck y'all think? Up. Oh. Oh. Nah, uh, you get a wallet or no? Yeah, he's got the I got it in my hand. All right, let me double lock these cuffs before you put them in. The cops eventually make it to the police vehicle. The adrenaline is still running for these officers who berate Kevin for his ill decisions. Although, as you'll see, he'll initially make excuses. The most blatantly ridiculous part is that he continues to deny any wrongdoing. Look at me. I'm going in the You'll be thinking shot, man. Please I, don't I pulled my gun out because you fucking reached. Please don't kill me because I reached for something that y'all didn't think I had. That shit was on Oh, you mean the fucking gun? So... He wanted to get out, we placed him in a rusty before he got out of the car because he wanted to get out of the car. And then when we grabbed him, he reached under the seat. So at that point, we just grabbed both his arms. and uh, trying to reach somebody's right side. Yeah. And we just, basically at that point, me and him couldn't get out of the car because he was pulling so hard, so we just waited. And then when Cable got there, we got them all out. And then House keys, so I'll take his house keys and then... Got his phone. You got it, yeah, you got his phone. You the magazine? I got the magazine, I got the... Check, uh, check real good. No. The right side, too. Yeah, like under the, like by the seat right yeah, there. I looked under pretty good. Tell me everything, how to see him with 30 That shit wasn't mine, dude. I don't know what y'all talking about. So what y'all doing in my car? For what? So, for who? Yeah, Airbnb UW. I said AUW. Aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. You're probably gonna get like, numerous charges too. So. Say you gonna get what? Numerous charges. Let's get down there and we'll talk. Say, hold it. Aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. Damn, who used the weapon? We'll, we'll, we'll we'll get down there, Kevin was charged with a litany of offenses, including unlawful use of a weapon 
possession of a stolen firearm, obstructing a peace officer, resisting a peace officer, and driving under the influence of alcohol. Kevin's shocking case all started with a traffic stop, just like in our final situation. Andrew Olson. Our final case takes place on the 25th of July, 2022 in Sparta, Wisconsin. Monroe County officers were on patrol and observed a vehicle making a peculiar stop at an intersection. The police approached the vehicle and found a male suspect, Andrew Olson, standing outside and claiming that it was unable to function. Hello. Deputy David with the Sheriff's Office, what's going on tonight? Oh, yeah, we're having some issues with the vehicle. You're having some issues with the vehicle? Yeah, it won't start up. It won't start up? What's wrong with it? Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yep. Wanna like step over here so like these people can get around you? Oh yeah, that's right. Right over here. No, you can don't have to go into the ditch. You can just hang out over here. With both the smell of alcohol and marijuana drifting from both Andrew and the vehicle, the cops look to carry out the standard sobriety test. It's a straightforward process, but Andrew struggles with the tasks, which suggests that he's been driving under the influence. Are you willing to do a couple field sobriety tests to make sure you're safe to drive tonight? That's fine. All right. All right, sir, you can hop out. Do you have an ID on you or yeah, something like that? Yeah, I do. We can walk to the front of my car, yeah, so we're not... Yeah, yep. Driver is an Andrew R. Olson, last name Ocean Lincoln, Sam Ocean Nora, first name Andrew, Adam Nora, David Robert, Edward William, middle name R. Robert, male white. What I want you to do is I want you to put your feet together, put your hands down by your sides, perfect. Don't grab onto your pant leg, just leave your hands nice and relaxed. And can you see the tip of my finger? Yes. This one right here. Yes. All right. Can you reach out with your right index finger and touch the tip of my finger? Yes. All right. What I want you to do is I just want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and only your eyes and not your head. Do you understand? Yes. Go up. Alright, what time was your first drink at? Uh, maybe around 10.30. 10.30? And what time was your last drink at? 11.30. 11.30? What, what, what were you drinking tonight? Uh, just your beer. Sorry, what? Just beer. Just beer? What kind of beers? Corona. Coronas? Yep. Bottles or cans? Bottle. How many bottles do you have? Two. Two? When was the last time you were at a dentist? It's been a minute. It's been a minute? So not in the last week? No, definitely not within the last okay. week. Do you have GERD? No. All right. So what I want you to do is I just want you to step on the fog line right here and turn and face the back of your car. I want you to put your left foot on the fog line and I want you to put your right foot next to your left foot, heels and toes touching. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe touching. Nope. Other way around. Right foot in front of your left foot. There you go. And let's get that all the way on the line so we're both our feet, both our feet on the line. Perfect. Andrew was definitely over the limit and the officer has no choice but to detain him. Perhaps due to his inebriated state, Andrew has a much better idea and attempts to leave the scene, resisting arrest. As you can imagine, this ambitious escape plan doesn't pan out. You know what the legal limit to operate in Wisconsin is? Yep, you're at a point one five two. So if you want to place your hands behind your back, you're under arrest for operating while impaired. Hey, easy there. Easy there. What are you doing? Don't tense up on me, buddy. Don't grab your hands together, relax your hands. Take it easy. Get out of here right now. After an extensive search and drawn out chase, the cops finally crashed down on Andrew, bringing the situation to a close with tasers drawn. With Andrew's fate seemingly sealed, the suspect makes one last effort to resist and does something incredibly stupid. He reaches for the officer's gun. Put your hands behind your back, do it now or you're gonna get tased. Lay on your stomach, put your hands behind your back. Charge me like that! He's grabbing a gold of my gun. No, you beat a f punch! I was doing you f 
Turn it out! I'm gonna sue your ass! You f***ing ass! Let go of me now! I'm transitioning. Now! Alright. Give me a light, give me a light so I don't hit us. Stop. Get off of me. Put your hands behind your back. I can't. God, You're on you my hit me, bro. You're on my hands. Put your hands behind your back. I can't. You're on Give them. Give me your other hand. I can't. Give me your other hand. You're on them. Stop resisting. You're on Stop them. Stop resisting. You're on them. I'm going to kill you. I can't. I can't. Okay, boy, I got one arm right here. God damn it, Tim. The hell, man? Oh my God. Get your hands together. Oh put your hands be. Put your hands together. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. God damn it. All right, I'll hold this. You bring it. Damn it, dude. Other officers arrive to force Andrew into a safer position. With the suspect's attempt to physically lash out limited, he then turned to verbally berating the officers. The challenge for cops now was to get Andrew on the move. I was a f of everything. You just be a f ex because you're put is. Okay. Just talk to me like a f man. So Let right me now get you're up and talk to you. No. Right yeah, now you're exactly. under arrest. You. Right now you're under arrest for battery, obstruction. And battery, that's right. We'll just wait here until EMS gets... There's no point in dragging them out than just to fight with them out there. But they won't be able to get down no, here. No, no, but when they actually get here... Oh. You know what I'm saying? Just secure him into the back of the squad let him kick his anger out. Well... Hey, man. I know you don't like us right now, but we gotta get you out of here. Out of these woods, okay? Are you willing to just walk with us, okay? Sure, you have your day with court and all that stuff, but sure, we need to get you out of here, okay? Yeah, all right, let's go. Okay, you're gonna cooperate? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do this. We'll we'll sit you up your upper body. All right. Can you sit? Can you sit? Kick your legs forward. Thank you. All right, Andrew. We're gonna stand up. All right. All right. We're gonna walk this way, just straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. I'll get you out of here. Your feet. Oh. All right, buddy. Steve, I, got your turn I sprayed you. Anybody have any water in their car? Yeah. Yep. Can you get some water? Get get some OC out of his face. All right, Andrew. We're gonna have you sit behind one of these cars here. Okay. We'll get you some water for that OC spray. Hey, can I ask you this, bud? You don't have any communicable diseases, diseases, do you? No AIDS, nothing like that. Cause I got your blood all over me. You bit me. I don't want to get AIDS. I got cuts now. All right. The two of us that are still here is good. The other guy whacked his head the first time when he went down an embankment. He was later charged with two counts of felony battery to an officer, resisting causing injury, attempting to disarm an officer, and misdemeanor resisting. He was also fined over $1,200 for operating while intoxicated, operating while suspended, and standing on the roadway.